We're done with the harbour for now, so it's on to the marketplace. Located in the centre of Stormridge, the market both hosts quests and facilities of its own and acts as a gateway to the other quest hubs. The first thing of interest are the class trainers located just inside the gate. As with the harbour, all classes are represented here. Down, down these stairs are the pawnbrokers. Unlike other vendors, the pawnbrokers only sell items that have been sold to them by other players. And the reason people take time to sell to them is that they offer more for the items than the general vendors do. They're separated out by the type of good they offer and by the level range of those goods. In the marketplace you can find all the jewellery and clothing brokers and the first two and the first tier of armour and weapon brokers. Higher level armour is available in House Kunderak and higher level weapons in House uh, Stainess. Another interesting thing to know about the brokers is that their inventory is different across each instance. To see what I mean, let's have a look at this guy here. See what he's got? A couple of scars of warmth, not much. But now if we swap to the next instance of the marketplace and check his inventory again, we'll see he's got slightly different items available. To the east of the brokers are the hireling vendors and uh, down the steps are the two taverns in the marketplace. Now back upstairs and over the ramp into the market. There's a selection of vendors here including this potion and wand vendor. One of the main things you might want to buy are healing potions. Um, but before you do that, check the wand vendor and see if you can use wands instead, as that will save you a lot of money. For instance... Where is it? This uh, 50 charge wand of cure life wounds costs you 89 platinum. The equivalent of 50 potions of cure light wounds from the potion vendor will cost you 298 platinum and you access that little type in box by holding down control as you click the item. The other reason we're here is to talk about how wizards learn spells. If you're playing a cleric, paladin or ranger, every spell your class knows is available to you when you reach the appropriate level and you can freely swap them out at shrines and inns. If you're a bard, favoured soul or sorcerer, again you have access to every, to every spell your class can use, but you can only swap them out at your class trainer and it costs gold. But wizards are different. Wizards have to learn their spells. They get to learn a couple when they level, but the majority of spells are going to be found by adventuring or by buying scrolls from the vendors here in House Jurasco, House Fialan, and when you get access to the teleport spell, a wizard's bar called the Portable Hole. Once they have the scroll, they need appropriate level inscription materials, which they buy from the Arcane Reagent vendor. As we're going to learn a level 1 spell, we buy level 1 inscription materials. We then open up our character sheet and put this inscribe scroll feet onto a hot bar and then open the inventory select the scroll you want to learn in this case burning hands and activate the feet a progress bar later and your new spell is available to memorize in a tavern or at a shrine moving onwards we head over this ramp um, over this ramp, hop over the rail and run past the auctioneer to pick up a quest from Locania here. Her quest does two things for you. Completing it once unlocks dragon mark feats for all your characters present and future on this server and more importantly gives you a feat exchange token. This is valuable as swapping out feats like all the spec options in this game is expensive. Her quest is simple enough. Her quest is simple enough. You just have to answer some law questions. You can either do it by reading the books here and actually learning it 
or googling the answers. The one thing you should definitely not do is uh, ask. Um, oh, I never know this one. The one thing you should definitely not do is uh, ask in the advice channels because that just annoys everybody. And then there we are, all done. We now have our feet exchange token. Now that we've got the feet exchange token, it's uh, not represented by an item. You just get a notification when you log in. Um, I'm going to show you where to use it. And that's in House Jurasco, which is through here. And we run round here past some spell notice boards. Now, so I think these ones aren't lit up because I'm much too low level for them. Um, past an inn. Again, there's quest givers in this inn. There's quest givers in pretty much every inn, so you should always check them when you go into a new area. And these teleport, these are the teleport gates. We'll come to it in a moment. The uh, other thing. As well as the feet guy that we're going to see, House Jurasco is home to the Tempest Spine Raid, the only free raid, some an arcane materials shop, and a shop called Empty Handed where you get to buy more bags. Anyway, we need to swap out our uh, feet. We talk to this Mind Flayer with fetching pink tentacles called Fred. Uh, the Mind Flayer is called Fred, not the tentacles. Uh, and you just shows you the feats you have, so say we wanted to swap out our extend feet spell feet, we'd put it there and then we'd select a new feat and then we'd go accept. Sometimes you can't swap out a feat because it's a prerequisite for ones you have already. In that case you have to sort of swap them all out in sequence. The uh, wards are linked to each other by these teleport gates um, in this case, we're just going to use we're just going to use this one to get back to the marketplace, and then go to the twelve, which is a high-level quest hub. But the reason we're going here at these levels is to pick up another bag. Is to pick up another ingredient bag, and the twelve is accessed round here, just to the west of the bank. It's a gate to, that's the gate to the Searing Heights which is an outdoor adventure area. Once you're in the 12, you just run straight towards the rather impressive Wizard's Tower. Run, run, run. Little birds and things. There's also some nice little incidental things going on here. You get birds, you get butterflies, um, you get lava. Don't fall in that, it's very hot. The game will kill you for falling into lava, even in a non-combat zone. And we go into the 12. And we speak to this guy and he gives you another ingredients bag which has room for 30 items and that concludes our tour of the mar harbour and market so it's now time for you to return to the harbour do guard Jung's mission then find a waterworks team this is Mad Cat signing off and remember when in doubt kill them all and take their stuff